I'm Molly Chapman, business journalist for SaltBeats. Thanks, Innovates. And today I'm joined by Mike Van Ehrman, VP of Business Development for FSB. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Having a great convention so far. How are you? That's great. I'm great. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so as we've seen in the news, Ontario is a very important market for FSB. Could you tell us a little bit about why this is? Well, I mean, in the last 12 months, Ontario is behind New York, the biggest newly regulated market that has come online in North America. Uh, and FSB has really made it a priority, you know, as a tier one market, to be a tier one operator for multiple clients in a tier one market. So, you know, it really, it checks all the boxes for, you know, online casino, online sports. It's a perfect entrance for FSB into the North American uh, and Canadian market. What are the key opportunities for expansion that you've identified in Ontario and are there any partnerships in the pipeline? Uh, several, many and uh, you know obviously there's a lot of enthusiasm uh, with, uh, with existing operators to enter Ontario as well as new entrants to the market to enter Ontario uh, and FSB is well suited to, uh, to provide for them all. I think the one that we're most excited about that we recently uh, released was our partnership with Fitzstairs. We've had a long-standing partnership with Fitzstairs over in the UK. They've been great partners to us. We'd like to feel that we've been good partners to them and we feel it's a great trust stamp for us uh, that a partner that has been with us for so long uh, is bringing us into a new market uh, into the North American uh, jurisdiction. We have also uh, received our license from Ontario yeah. so we feel that you know it's just another testament and a feather in the cap of FSB that we uh, that we can play in this sandbox. Looking slightly further south, are there any markets in the U.S. that you have your eye on? Yeah, absolutely. We are still going through the process of our Nevada licensing. We're hoping to wrap that up uh, relatively soon. Uh, we've, we've identified Nevada as a, as, a, as a major market for FSB. Not only is it where I live and uh, where I've kind of entered into the industry, you know, there's a, so many tier one operators that are based out of Nevada, uh, such rich history of the sports betting industry in the United States originating from Nevada. We really take it seriously and think that it's a, it, it is a tier one place for, for FSB to operate in. Uh, in addition to that, we have uh, secured our license in South Dakota. We anticipate going live in there within the next couple of months. Uh, again, it's just the, the, the credibility is building with FSB as we continue to enter and, and pass all these, these litmus tests with these regulators. Yeah, it all sounds very exciting. It is very exciting. It's a lot of work and you know it's, it's very busy, but it's one of those things that when you're a regulated sportsbook provider providing for regulated sportsbooks, yeah. you, know, you need to have that trust stamp. You need to have the rubber stamp that you, know, you can come in here and, and provide for the, you know, under these regulated conditions, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. It takes a lot of expertise and a lot of history and a lot of resources. And FSB has done a really good job of knocking that out of the park. In the messaging in your stand, you have emphasized that curation is in the heart of your offering. Can you elaborate on that for us? And what benefits does it bring to your partners? Not only is curation at the heart of our offering, it's kind of the, the core identity of our company and of how we do business in this industry. You know, it's we are not ever content to shoehorn a customer into one specific way of operating. You know, customers, even two different customers who want to use the FSB platform, they want to be able to differentiate themselves. Yeah. It's our responsibility to enable them to, to differentiate themselves. It's our responsibility to provide them the tools and not put them in a box and say, you must operate your sports book, you must operate your online casino at this pre-prescribed notion, right? FSB is empowering operators and, cure, and allowing them to curate for themselves using FSB's platform to differentiate themselves in a very, very competitive and highly expensive market. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's something that, it's more than just a tagline, it really is the philosophy that drives all of our decision making entering into the North American market. So, looking towards future North American plans, where do you see FSB in the next six months? Well, you know, when you asked that question six months ago versus now, I couldn't have even dreamed that we would be where we are, yeah. you know, in, in from the previous six months to now. Mm -hmm. So, I think, you know, there's there's several things that uh, we're hoping to announce by the end of Q3, early Q4, that uh, that will make some pretty significant waves throughout the industry. Uh, but honestly, it's 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 continuing to evolve that trust stamp here in North America and, and announcing tier one partnerships and, and security tier one partnerships to show that FSB is here to to disrupt the switcher markets and make sure that you know we weren't with the first wave of, uh, of entrance into the into the United States market back when PASPA was repealed in 2018 but we are seeking to represent an upgrade to every single operator who's looking to make a uh, to make a switch well thank you so much for joining me today that's all the questions I have for you thank you very much for yes, having me have a great rest of your day